I was at a tournament last Saturday and I got a lot of compliments on my homemade miniature storage and transportation box. So I thought I'd put this up in case anyone is interested in building one themselves. Uh, starting off, this is a uh, standard plastic storage bin, your Tupperware type bin. Uh, this particular one is um, 28 quarts, uh, 23 by 16 and a quarter by 6 inches tall. And we just pop the lid off, pull this out, close this back up so it sits down. And boom, there we go. And the eloquence of this design is obviously, I just pulled it out and I'm ready to go because all the miniatures are all set up. Everything has sheet magnets on it. This thing has handles. I can just carry it wherever I need to. Uh, I don't have to spend an hour putting all my miniatures on movement trays before I can play. And uh, it's fairly secure with the magnets, even the metal miniatures. So it's very stable. And uh, very simple to build. So let me clear off all these miniatures and I'll show you exactly, uh, I'll show you the workings of this thing. So the main board itself is quarter inch MDF board and on the underneath we have some uh, wood strips. Both of these I got at Home Depot. Uh, the MDF board is probably enough on its own but uh, I'm overly cautious about things so I added the, uh, the wood strips here for uh, extra strength, so to prevent warping and just bending of the board from uh, excess weight. Um, both of these I got at Home Depot. On top is a sheet magnet, which you can get at a craft store. Comes in a big roll, just like this. Uh, costs you get about a two by four foot sheet for something like twelve to fifteen dollars. So this is uh, the top of the board, and uh, this stuff comes with a uh, like a sticker back that you pull off. However, either this stuff never comes off, it comes off in tiny strips, or if you pull off a big chunk, it has on occasion, I've had it rip the magnet itself. So rather than use this to glue it down, I actually uh, used um, some spray glue to uh, put all this down. And, uh, oh, and the wood strips on the bottom are glued down with uh, wood glue. Uh, you do want to use, you can screw it in, I used wood glue. Uh, if you do glue it, definitely go with like wood glue. You don't want to use white glue because white glue uh, can warp wood. Uh, so there's that. And then the handles are just ordinary, either cupboard or small gate handles that I just drilled through the board and have some uh, machine screws holding it in place. So top of the sheets magnetized. And then I have all my miniatures that are also magnetized. On the bottom of the miniatures and also on the bottom of the tray are uh, sheet, uh, sheet steel. And uh, these I get from uh, War Games Accessories. Uh, they have like a hundred different sizes of pre-cut uh, sheet steel that you can use for your miniatures. And um, these are the obviously the 20 millimeter square sizes and you get a bag of them for five dollars and depending on how many you get in a bag depends on how big or small they are so I think you get like 25 or so for five bucks of these and then on the bottom of the movement tray is the sheet magnet the exact same stuff that's here and then of course the uh, the sheet metal on the bottom so once you put everything down it's all nice and secure so you can carry your things around everywhere put in the trunk you're not going to get any movement. Uh, I have the same method on the metal miniatures. Those are fairly secure, but I wouldn't do that with them. And the reason why I didn't use uh, rare earth magnets in this case is because uh, when I started building this army and magnetizing all the miniatures, rare earth magnets really, they existed, but they were not used on miniatures yet. No one, no one came up with the idea. So if you want to use rare earths instead, fine. Um, though the sheet uh, magnet is easier with pol polarity. Uh, you always know what's, what polarity is what because you have the, the black side and you have the white side. Uh, the little tiny rare earth magnets, just be careful you're getting everything, getting everything in the, uh, the right direction. But uh, it's a very simple design, easy to make, it's very functional. 
Uh, I don't have to spend hours setting up my army. When I want to play, I just uh, pop it off, put the tray down, and um, take off the miniatures, and I'm ready to go. And um, the dead, I can just simply place back when it's time and then put everything back in the box and I'm off again and if I need to go to another table in a tournament to play I just carry this over and place it down again so that's it it's a very simple design um, the MDF board will cost you like three bucks if you need a, need a cut Home Depot or those places they'll do cuts for you as well I think it's like a dollar a cut uh, the wood strips on the bottom again just a couple bucks the handles were like a buck each uh, sheet magnet is going to be the most expensive thing in this bill which is like fifteen dollars for a, a big sheet and the uh, the box itself I can't remember how much that was it was definitely less than ten dollars so you're looking thirty ish dollars for this uh, the system it's uh, cheap to build uh, it's cheaper than buying a uh, professional uh, miniature storage case it's also a lot more effective because um, you don't have to spend all the time taking all the miniatures off and on so it's a uh, it's good method makes you quick to go and uh, that's about it if you uh, build one yourself uh, let me know I'd like to know when uh, these videos help people take care